Hi guys, it's date night for my birthday. So that's what I'm getting ready for. Um, and we have to pick a lip color. I don't know if I want to do nude or I want to do um, maybe red, like holiday red. So we got to kind of vote on a couple of things here, friends. All right, let's just put this in a couple of places. Oh, crap, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so date night. Date night, date night, date night. Share, 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 share. <laughs> okay, we're good. Hi, hello everyone. So we have to decide if we're going to be doing a nude lip or a red lip. So you tell me, because that's going to affect everything else. We can't go hard on the eyes and everything if we're going to do a red lip. We have to sort of sleek it out a little bit that way. So while I get everything else out, somebody tell me what lip color we're doing, and that's what we're just, we're going to go with it. I'm going to put a little bit of hydrating face primer on. Hi, Carol. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Kate. Say hi when you guys hop on. Hydrating face primer. Number one thing that you need for fall and winter. Oh, thank you. She is a uh, Forever 21 purchase a couple years ago. I needed a, you know, a fur vest. I am like the coldest person you'll ever meet. Hi, Carol. So um, when it comes to be winter time, like just give me all the things to keep me warm. Like I'm not messing around. I hate being cold. It's my least favorite emotion ever. Cold. All right, so girls, are we doing a red lip or are we doing a neutral lip? Red or neutral? And then I'll know what I'm doing after that. Hi, Sarah, how are you? All right, so I'm also going to use um, the liquid foundation tonight because the liquid foundation and concealer are on sale tomorrow for 48 bucks, which is bananas. It's basically like getting the concealer for free. So I'm gonna show you why you need that. Hi, Erin. All right, this, this. I'm gonna get my liquid foundation out. Don't want my wet. Don't want taffeta. Uh, hi, Elizabeth. I want velour. We're gonna use velour. All right. La, la, la. What are we doing? Hi, Erin. How are you? All right, so guys, red lip or neutral lip? Because that's going to help me decide what to do for my eyes because I don't want to go super heavy on my eye if I'm going to be doing a red lip. Like, that's just going to look like insanity. We're going out to dinner to Jack's Oyster House tonight for my birthday. One of my very dear friends, on Ty, who owns Surroundings Floral, had given me gift certificates there. So I figured it was a good time to use them. It's a fancier place. Lustrous iridescent. Let's use iridescent. All right, ready? One, two, three, red lip or neutral? I can't take the suspense anymore. Just somebody shout it out. Shout it on out. We're going to use chenille. We're going to use sweet. I think I want to do seductive blush. Seductive blush. All right, red lip it is. Red lip. Okay. So we're going to go in red lip and saucy lip stain. Oh, Mina. Saucy and lovesick. Okay. Oh, Mina. It's just daddy, you goofball. All right, so our primer is all set and good to go. So we're gonna go in with the sale item tomorrow. So if you have never tried our liquid foundation, it is what we call a high definition foundation because it's water weight and super duper light. So um, some, be some of the other foundations that I've used, you're gonna wanna shake it up because it's a natural product and it does sort of separate. Dump the plunger a few times, but watch how loose this is literally like water droplets. 
So when you put it on, it's not going to feel heavy at all. It's going to be really easy to blend out. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ooh, look at you. It's date night. Okay. So when you put it on, it's going to feel weightless because it's literally a water weight foundation. So it's not going to feel super heavy and super creamy. Um, it's very silky, but it's the first time I used it, I was like, I don't know about all this because everything I had ever used before was almost like a BB cream consistency, like super duper thick. And I had really bad acne, which I've got bad acne right now because of all the soy that I've been eating is just not good. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to blend this out. I still have some left over. I went a little heavy handed on this, but that's okay. So I like to blend this out best with an eco tool sponge. I just wash this out with hot water and hand soap so that it's clean every single time. And I like a little bit of dampness in the sponge. So I'm just going to press it in like this. And it literally just melts into your skin and it feels totally weightless. So this is, because it's water weight, it's gonna dry to a matte finish. It's not gonna give you a dewy finish, and it's not going to give you like a really glossy finish. It definitely dries matte. So this and the um, Skin Perfecting Concealer is 48 bucks tomorrow, but you're gonna wanna log on if you're in New York, 9 a.m. Actually, you're gonna wanna get in the queue early. So let's say like 8.40 log on and get going. Hi Kelly, and I can shade match you. So if you want, just send me a picture um, of your skin and I can tell you what colors to pick. If you already use our stick foundation or our spray foundation, you would be the same color in liquid foundation. But look at how that blends out. Just like stupid easy. Really, 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 really easy. Okay. Even my neck is broken out. Ugh. Soy is no joke. Like, why does soy do this? It messes with the hormones. It's terrible. It's also terrible that I'm 35 and already complaining about, like, oh, my hormones. Like, I'm 100 years old. I digress. Okay, so we're all blended out with that. And I'm going to go in with... What I'm gonna use for eyeshadow yet. We'll we'll save that for another minute. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Chenille Pressed Powder, and this is what I'm going to use to contour with tonight. So Chenille Pressed Powder is a foundation powder, and I just like it for contour because it gives me a very natural contour, and you can pick whatever color is gonna look best with your skin tone. So I love to grab two of these, a contour and a highlight, and then like they last me forever and ever and they're full coverage. So if you're really looking for a nice deep contour and a nice bright highlight, definitely get the two pack because it saves you like 10 bucks. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Elizabeth. All right. I also love the way that these blend out and powder, by the way, is setting my liquid foundation. Powder over liquid and cream sets it forehead. Warm that up. Give me a little bit of color as I have none naturally. Hi, Fabiola. All right, so now we're going to do jawline. The jawline is where it's at. You're missing the boat if you don't do the jawline. Okay, and then the sides of my nose really quick just to warm it up. All right, so there is our contour. So now I'm gonna take the exact same product, but in a different shade. So this is the same product. It's going to be in Scarlet, which is the lightest shade of foundation that we carry. Obviously, it's much brighter. And I'm gonna use this for my under eye. I'm gonna use it to set my makeup and brighten and highlight. 
So I'm just taking a little bit of that foundation powder in Scarlet and I'm putting it underneath my eyes. Look at how that brightens it up. And the best part is it doesn't crease ever, ever. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you have issues with creasing, this is your jam. chin brighten that up under my nose on my nose just right down the center and then on the forehead so normally I do my contour first my rather my highlight first and then I go in and contour it but lately I've just been going in afterwards with the highlight and cleaning it up and it just keeps me a little bit brighter so I don't look like muddy ever hi Samantha how are you Say hi when you guys hop on. Tell me where you're watching from. Hi, Jen. Keep that bottom area here nice and bright. And we're going to be good to go. Now, because we're doing a red lip, I want my eyes to look very clean. So I'm just putting a little bit of that scarlet on my eyelid so that it's nice and bright. That's what I love about powder is it's like just super easy to just go, okay, I'm going to toss a little bit of that on. It like does not disrupt the apple car at ever, at ever, ever. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so that is good. Um, I'm going to show you the quickest little blending tip ever. Grab a ginormous fluffy super powder brush with nothing on it and just blend your contour just a little bit. And that's going to prevent anything from being way, way too dark or way, way too bright. Hi, Erica. Just like mellows everything out so that you don't have anything too harsh. You can always go back in and add a little bit of darkness. I usually do that at the end just to kind of fact check what I've done. Um, but that way, if you feel like you've sort of muted it out a little bit, you can add some more in. Okay, so let's go in with a little bit of blush right now. I'm going to go in with the shade Seductive. Hi, hi, Steph. Hi, Jen. So Seductive is this gorgeous sort of like slightly deeper rosy pink. Um, I use Sweet all the time. I'll show you the difference between them. And I love Sweet, but I love this one's just a hair darker. So this is Sweet and this is Seductive. So yeah, that's Sweet. Um, it's just a little bit more of like a mauvier pink, and this is a brighter pink, but seductive. We used to carry all of our, if you're wondering why they're in two different packages, all of our blush used to come in a package like this, but people always take from the center and that creates weakness and then these things crumble. So they made them smaller and rounder. They're half the price now and you don't run the risk of them breaking. So that's why, if you're wondering why they changed it up. All right, so we're going to go in with Seductive Blush, and a little goes a very long way. And again, we're just going to blend it out with the Super Powder Brush. And just sort of diffuse it out. But again, the really cool thing about using powder I can always go back in and brighten it up. If you feel like you crept a little bit too high or something like that, powder can be layered, but um, liquid cannot go over powder. Don't do it. Hi, Alyssa. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, so let's do brows quick. I'm gonna use brow pencils tonight. Brow pencils in the shade medium and dark. And I'm gonna start with dark which is this one here. And what I do is I draw the line, the bottom and the top line on my brows with the dark pencil, like so. So I just kind of follow the bottom of the arch all the way to the tail in dark. And then with the dark, I'm gonna start on the top, do the same thing to the tail. Now at the arch, I'm going to fill it in with the dark pencil, arch to tail, and then I'm going to switch over to the medium pencil to fill in the front because I like having 
a little bit of a lighter tone in the front and a little bit more sparse, like how your brows would naturally grow. Just use little hair-like strokes, super easy. But that is why I always use two different colors. So then I just take the little spoolie and I brush my brows like that is such a natural, easy brow to do. You don't have to be afraid of it being too dark, too like explosive where it doesn't make sense and it looks too phony. Hi, Kelly. Um, just a really easy brow. So again, dark pencil, front to back. Dark pencil on the top, whoops. Fill in the arch to the tail. Hi, Kelly, how are you? And then I'm gonna take the medium pencil again and we're just gonna fill in the front a little bit. Fade that in. And we will be good to go. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna take that little brush and just brush my brows. It sort of blends everything together really nicely. Um, we are going to Jack's Oyster House, which is like one of the oldest restaurants in Albany, um, for dinner to celebrate the old birthday, birthday girl dinner. Although I got to say now that I'm 35, uh, I'm definitely less enthusiastic about celebrating my birthday for days on end, but I will definitely take a date night out of it. Totally thrilled for that because these are few and far between for us. Okay, so let's figure out what we're doing. Let's do a simple eye, shall we? Let's just be simple about it. All right, so I'm going to go in with Malibu bronzer and my unique uh, blending brush. And I'm just going to put this into my crease because we're going to do a red lip and the red lip is definitely going to stand out so i don't want to go so overboard on the eye that i look like tammy faye baker we have to go in at this at a reasonable speed you know what i mean so another reason to use bronzer all the time it looks amazing on your face but it's also amazing on your eyes this is one of my quick mom hacks when i'm like getting ready for work and i just need to be done quickly, I will always add bronzer to my eyes as a shadow. And it always looks great. And we're just gonna clean it up with highlighter. So I'm gonna use Touch of a Mode Highlighter in Iridescent. I'm gonna put this all over my lid So I'm going to use my unique deluxe brush and I'm going to put iridescent highlighter all over, sort of like cut crease style, all over my lid. Just brighten that lid right up. If you do not use luminizer, these powder luminizers are literally a step that I never ever miss. They literally add so much to your skin's glow. It makes you look so healthy and vibrant. Literally, I recommend it to everyone. Highlighting your face changes everything. Okay, highlighter. And now we're going to go in with a little bit of... So I'm wearing this like dark green shirt. So I'm going to go in with Perfect... Um, Moodstruck Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Perfect, which is this gorgeous emerald green. And I love it because it's not one of these dipping things. Literally, it's all just sitting on there waiting for you to use it. Ooh. 
love a dark eye sometimes. Ooh. Take your time when you're doing liquid eyeliner because it is a real pain in the butt to go back and try to clean it up if you go like too heavy or you smudge it where you don't want it. It just becomes a pain in the neck. So I am typically not one for a lick, like a colored eyeliner, but this from afar just looks black. And when you get up on top of it, you can appreciate that it's green, but I literally live for this color. Hi, Emily. All right, so let's do 4D mascara, obviously. It's everything good in the world. So we're, I do two coats of 4D, and the other thing I always do is roll my mascara wand so that you get all 365 degrees of wand coming in contact with your lashes because it's going to separate, lengthen, and deposit the fibers in the mascara much better if you roll it. Hi, Bailey. Okay. So one coat down, literally it gives you like a false lash look. It's amazing. Hi, Nicole. Better turn on my curling iron. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair, but I better do something. It's looking a little less than enthusiastic tonight. I gotta be honest. Um, thank you so much, Kelly. Okay. I could literally apply this mascara for hours. It's like fun to me. Um, go slow when you do it. You'll notice a huge difference than if you rush through it. If you slowly do it, it will separate all your lashes and lengthen them and just thicken them up that much better. All right, so what I have left over on my wand, I'm just going to go ahead and do my lower lashes with. I don't like a fresh wand to do my lower lashes because I feel like it puts too much on there. Don't love a spider lash. You know what I mean? All right. All right, so let's go in with that same shade that I put on my lids, Iridescent, which is a highlighter. And I'm going to put that on my cheekbones and just kind of like make them pop that way. And then we're gonna go in and do lips. So Iridescent. And always put it right on your cupid's bow. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, so we're gonna go in with super red popular lip gloss, lip gloss, lip liner. Um, so with a red, it's important to find the right red. So the veins that are in your wrist are gonna tell you which red you should go. If you have green veins, you're gonna to wanna to go with a more blue red. If you have blue veins, then you're gonna to to go with an orange red because your undertones in your skin change the lip when it's on there. It's really weird, but I'm telling you the truth, the undertones in your skin are gonna change the look. That's why a red lipstick, there's a bajillion shades of them and they look different on everyone. So I'm using the shade Popular in a lip liner. And actually, I've used this entire lip liner to color in my lips before and just put a gloss on top and it wears like braided steel. And 
and I might just do that tonight. Okay. Hi, Laura. Oh, well, thank you. I have my commando liquid leather leggings on that Melanie got me for my birthday, too. And I'm feeling them. They're like Spanx leggings, but better, if you can believe it. You know what? I'm just going to fill my whole lip in with this. Because why? Why not? All right. So hold, please. This is how buttery our lip liners are, is that you can use it as a whole lip look. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the top with, I'm gonna mellow it out a little bit, and I'm gonna put Lux, I was gonna put Love Sick, but I'm gonna put Lux over the top of it, just to kind of mellow it out, just a pinch. Lux has a little bit of brown and it'll just like chill it out ever so slightly. Super good holiday look. That is amazing. All right, so let's go in and just kind of fact check everything before we seal it up. I'm gonna use a little more scarlet on my chin to cover the old soy acne we're dealing with. What a time to be alive. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer just to add a little glow to my cheekbones. That's not bronzer, this is bronzer. So Malibu bronzer is what I used on my eyes tonight. All right, so we're gonna seal it up with Touch Me Hold Setting Spray. And we're not gonna go anywhere, but look at how good this lip is. It's just lip liner. Like, that's how great these lip liners are. And the best part is that they stay forever and ever. So literally, if you're looking, especially with a red lip, like once your red lip starts to like meander around, the whole look starts to just fall apart. You don't want that. So using popular lip liner as just like the end all be all on your lips is amazing. Hi, Andrea. Thank you. All right, so I don't know what we're doing. My hair is just feeling a little less than. I think we just have to add a little curl to it. But of course, I don't have a brush in here. Yes, I do. Lied to you. Let's add a few waves to this just to zhuzh it slightly. I almost like getting ready right before we're about to leave because once I'm ready, I just want to go. Like, I don't want to sit around and wait. I don't want to recheck my makeup. I don't want to do other things. I just want to go. Hi, Marissa. out a couple of beachy waves and give this I have to get my hair done so bad Wednesday is the day but it has grown so much since I started doing the monostat hair thing holy Toledo I would have never never ever ever put my money on it working the way that it has 
Like, look at my roots. They're crazy. My hair does not grow. It's the most sluggish growing hair ever, to be honest with you. But if you are looking to make your hair grow or you have like postpartum hair loss or anything like that, um, or even if you just feel like your hair is thinning and you want it to get thicker, um, just look up Monistat Hair Challenge on Instagram, on Pinterest, on YouTube, send me a message. I will tell you what I've been doing. It is literally, ma okay. Okay, Kelly, I'll give you the 411. So here's the, here's the science behind it. So basically people started to hypothesize like that. I said hypothesize. Um, people started to think that your hair was gro not growing or it was thinning because you had like a yeasty buildup on your scalp and it was not allowing your scalp to be healthy. Therefore, your hair was not growing healthy. So someone figured Monistat, yeast infections. What if I treated my scalp with Monistat? So if you want, let me go grab, let me go grab my, my bottle. Hold, please. I really feel like I need to spread the word. Hang on two seconds, it's in my bedroom. Okay, here I am. A Stoyaki. Also, look at these commando leather leggings. Are they not everything? They're everything. Hi, Carolina. Okay, so um, I was pulled into an essential oil cult for a minute there. That's why I had these glass bottles. It's all good. Hi, how are you? All right, so anyway, what I was saying was they started thinking that your scalp was not healthy and you needed to get the yeast and all the buildup off of it so that your hair could grow healthier. So you go and buy Monistat three day. And so it kind of looks like, you know, a tube and it's got all of the medicine, the Monistat in the tube. You just dump it into a spray bottle like this and then top it up to the neck with like hot water, not like scalding hot, but just, you know, out of the tap, hot water, and then shake it up really, 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 really good. And it's gonna look like foamy. You can see the Monistat is like floating around in there. My friend Melanie, who does this with me, actually put it in her like magic bullet, you know, the little blenders and blended it. I don't think it's necessary to do that, but whatever. So um, you just shake it up and then every time you're gonna wash your hair, you can do it every time. You could do it twice a week, whatever you want. Um, <laughs> Justin's watching this from our bedroom. Um, you just go and you spray your scalp with the Monistat solution and just rub it in and spray it. Your hair is gonna literally feel wet. And it's best to leave it on overnight or if you know you're gonna like, I wash my hair at night, so I usually don't leave it on overnight. But when I get home from work, I will just put it all over my head, put my hair up in a ponytail, and then when I go to wash it a few hours later, I feel good about it. So best to leave it on overnight, if you're not gonna leave it on overnight, at least four hours, I would say, and then wash it out. But what it does is, and when you wash it out, really scrub your scalp really, really good. So literally, I can post a before and after, but I started doing this mid-September, and in mid-September, my hair was only about here. And this is how much it's grown in two months. It's crazy. My hair does not grow like that, especially because my hair is processed. Like my natural hair color is this. These are my ends. Like obviously I have chemically treated it be like within an inch of its life, but it's literally super shiny, really soft, super manageable. And I honestly think it's the Monistat is amazing. So um, it started off with someone doing this for postpartum hair loss, like, and I can tell you that, like, the hair up here is, has filled in a ton. Like, this used to be so much more sparse, and now it's thick and full and lush and all the good things. So, if you have thinning hair, if you even have, like, one of the girls that we follow on Instagram, the sister studio, Jen Reed, um, She's actually where I heard about this to begin with, but there was someone who wrote into her and said that she had had um, 
brain cancer when she was a teenager and they had to do chemo when she lost all of her hair and then they had to radiate that part of her brain and so where they had to radiate it the hair literally never grew back and this is like 10 years after this poor girl had gone through this terrible ordeal so she started doing this monostat trick and swear to God, within two weeks, this girl had hair growing on something that had not grown hair in 10 years. So I really want long hair. Like my hair doesn't grow. So of course I want what I can't have. So I am like 100% team monostat long hair at this point. So if you haven't tried it, you got to try it and then let me know because I swear by it. My friend Melanie is doing it. Her hair is ridiculous. Her sister-in-law just had a baby earlier in the year and she started doing it and she said she swore that it worked. So I don't think we're all crazy. Um, I think that it really does work. All right, so um, I will take a selfie. <laughs> I feel like I need to brush my vest. I will take a selfie with all of, and I'll list all the products that I use tonight. Remember tomorrow, this and... I closed this already. This and the Skin Perfecting Concealer is on sale starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Pacific Time. $48. All orders of $50 or more ship for free. Um, if you do not have Unique Cosmetics before and you're starting with the foundation, make sure that you grab a primer as well and a setting product. You don't have to get it, but you know, you're getting the concealer and the foundation at such a steal that literally the foundation or the, the primer and the setting product do make it a huge difference so I would definitely tell you to grab those two but I'm gonna go take a selfie and then I'll list everything and uh, yeah let me know if you need any help um, if you want me to pre-order anything for you just let me know and I can try to wake up tomorrow and do that because the deals have been selling out within an hour so unfortunately you really don't have all day to sort of like drag your feet about it all right I love you guys I will see you tomorrow thank you so much Kelly see you later